get that winning physique, you simply can't ignore your abs and calves. In today's value workout, I'm going to take you through one of my favorite ab and calf routines, which will definitely work for you. So if you're ready, let's go. My favorite body part to train has always been abs. I am known in Canada as Abby because as soon as I enter the gym, I walk straight to the ab machine and I start my workout. I'm always doing my abs as a warm up before my workout. My favorite exercises for abdominal has always been leg raises. Leg raises work the whole abdominal wall but puts more emphasis on the lower abs. To execute this movement properly, keep both legs straight and lift them parallel to the floor. And remember to squeeze and flex with each repetition. I try to do four sets. By the time you get that last set, your abs should be fried. The next exercise I enjoy doing for my abs is decline sit-ups. To perform this exercise correctly, make sure your back is kept completely straight and your knees are kept bent through the whole movement. Keep your hands at the side of your temple or behind your head, but don't use your arms to help you complete the movement. Let your abs do the work. Come up only as far as you can while keeping your back straight. Contrary to most people, I do not crunch at the top. The reason is, I always concentrate on training my lower abs. The upper abs always gets work anyway, and the lower abs seems to be the hardest to develop. To build abs thickness, try using weight for resistance. Believe it or not, my calves used to be my weakest body part. But with lots of hard work, they have now become my most impressive. My favorite calf exercise, and one that's great for overall development, is standing raises. If this movement is properly executed, and by that I mean with your knees locked completely, it will directly stress the gastrocnemius. The gastrocnemius is the diamond-shaped full part of the calf. If you bend your knees during the set, the pressure and stress is taken off the gastrocnemius. Remember, with calf exercise, it's always technique. Squeeze hard and hold for a beat at the top of the movement and get a complete stretch at the bottom and keep those knees locked. Next exercise on my list is seated calf raises. When you bend your knees, with any calf movement, you immediately transfer the emphasis from the gastrocnemius to the solus muscle. And nothing hits it better than seated raises. The solus is like a supporting muscle for the visually more impressive gastrocnemius, but it's equally important for well-rounded calf development. The most important thing to remember when training calves is that they consist mostly of slow twitch fibers and that means they respond much better to high repetition sets. I go for at least 30 reps. Ah! Ooh! Your abs and calves should be screaming by now. I know mine are. This is a great routine for me, but for best results, you should try to experiment with different exercises. 